Hello, my name is Maple, and how may I assist you today? Oh, a full suit. Of course I can help you. Mm. It's quite a big event to buy a full suit. You must be very excited. <laughs> yes, it can be a bit of a daunting task, and there's often more elements to buying a suit than a lot of people think, but I'll be with you every step of the way, and I'll do my best to make it as relaxing and easy for you as possible. Okay? Perfect. Well, first things first, can I get you a beverage at all? Hmm. Well, we have a cava from Spain. That's very nice. We also have a 18 year aged whiskey, single malt, and we also have some soft drinks and coffee or water if you would prefer. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Would you like that neat or on the rocks? Of course. And can I get you a twist with that or just as is? My pleasure. I'll be back in one moment. Okay, there you are. How's that? Good. Glad you enjoy. Well, before we get on to the measuring and the actual fitting, I just like to go over a few different options for the suit that you'll need to consider. Now, you don't need to decide anything right away. These are just for you to think about while you're trying on the different suits and thinking about different materials, okay? Yes, exactly. So there's no pressure at the moment to decide anything, okay? Perfect. Well, the first thing may sound a bit silly, but it's the number of buttons you would like. <laughs> yes, so you can choose one, two, or three buttons. I'll tell you that three buttons had been the more popular option especially starting around the 90s. It was kind of seen as the very classic look. Mm -hmm. But two buttons has actually made quite a bit of a revival in the last little bit. So I'd say that two buttons is actually the trendier right now. But you can't go wrong with three buttons. It's a very classic look. Mm -hmm. Now you can also go with one button. Now, this style isn't as trendy because it kind of takes a certain someone to pull it off. So if the suit is done very well and tailored very nicely and depending on the body type one button can look very sleek 
but with some people it can look a little bit silly. Mm-hmm, yeah. So if you'd like later, we can try on a few different options if you'd like to see how you feel about the different buttons. Mm-hmm. And then the next thing to consider is the placement of the vents. Now the vents are either the single slit or the double slit at the back of the jacket that just helps it lay better on your body. Mm -hmm. So there's two main options here. So you can have the single slit right down the middle. Yeah, so there will be two pieces coming off the back of the jacket. Exactly. Now this look is very, very classic. This is kind of your normal business suit, the normal suit you would wear to a wedding. It's more in style in North America. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for something a little bit less traditional, then you could go with the two side vents. So there would be three pieces laying down from the bottom of the jacket. Exactly. So this is more the European style at the moment. And even though it's less traditional, it can be very, very suave. Yeah. Both options are fine. There's nothing that's going to make you stick out and look silly. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I would like you to consider is the type of lapel on the suit. Mm -hmm, yeah, so like the collar of the jacket. And out of the three things we've talked about so far, this is the piece that's going to make the biggest statement, I think. But I have a reference guide here just to help you visualize. So here are the three standard lapel types. So as you can see, we go from more casual to more formal. So first we have the notched lapels. These are probably the most common lapels. They're on most suits and if you've never noticed before, it's probably because you've mostly seen this lapel. This is what you would normally wear in the workplace. It's very classic. It's very safe. You're never going to go wrong with a notched lapel, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to go a little bit out of the box, we have peak lapels, which actually come upwards in the lapel. Mm -hmm. These are a bit older fashioned, but they're actually making a big comeback, especially in more upper class situations and circles. Mm -hmm. These are very, very elegant, but like I said, they make more of a statement. So if you would like to stay safe and have a everyday suit, then the notched lapels are probably the way to go. And then all the way on the end here, we have the shawl lapels, and these are the most formal, so these would probably be what you're wearing to 
your own wedding or a very, very fancy event like a gala or, you know, the red carpet, those kinds of things. Yeah, so this one's a bit of an easier choice since there's only a few options, but like I said, it does make a big statement, so it is something to consider. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, we will move right on down to types of patterns. Mm -hmm. This is where we can start to get fun and creative. <laughs> exactly. So, the first two are very similar. We have chalk stripe and pinstripe. So, I'm assuming you've heard of pinstripe. Yeah, it was very popular in the 20s with gangsters, but it's remained pretty common since then. Yes, it's a very common material for suits nowadays. One of the biggest benefits is it makes a kind of vertical illusion a little bit. So if you do wear pinstripes, it tends to make you look a little bit taller. <laughs> a little secret there. And then, like I said, we also have chalk stripe, which is very similar to pinstripe. The only difference is the lines are a bit thicker and they're a bit wider between the placement of the stripes. So, depending on what color the stripes and the suit are, it can be a bit more of a bold pattern, but it has more of that optical effect, so it'll make you look even taller. Yeah, exactly. Next, we have Hound's Tooth, which this one I really, really like because it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. So, depending on how contrasting the two colors are, it can either be a very classic looking suit or it can be a very bold suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you have two darker colors, for example, it'll look very, very classic, fairly traditional, yeah, a nice everyday suit, but if you start getting into bright colors or one bright color and one dark color, it can make a really fabulous statement piece. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And next we have herringbone, which is normally the pattern used with thicker materials like tweed. So if you've ever seen a tweed jacket, it's in a herringbone pattern, most likely. This pattern is mostly used for thicker material, like I said, so it's usually in winter jackets or jackets for thinner men because they want to look a little bit bulkier. Mm -hmm. The good thing about herringbone is that it goes with almost any accessory, so if you find yourself a bit lacking in the style department, maybe you want a herringbone suit so that it's easier to match with. 
Mm -hmm. And then last, we have plaid, which, as you can guess, it's probably the loudest pattern we have. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking for a big statement piece, something very bold, maybe something with a lot of color, mm -hmm. this is probably going to be your choice right there. Perfect. Well, we only have one last thing to discuss, so don't worry, but the last item will be the fabric that your suit is made out of. Mm -hmm. So there's a few different options we can look at. Here at this store, we don't have any synthetic materials, so it'll just be natural options for you. Mm -hmm. So the first one is very classic, which is a wool suit. Now, wool can be made a little bit thicker, and it can be made a little bit thinner, depending on how you want the final outcome to look, what pattern you're going with. It's very versatile because it's breathable enough that you can wear it in the summer, but then it can also be a bit thicker than some other materials and so it's also good for the winter. Yeah, so it's a very good all year round suit. So this is probably what your everyday suit is going to be made of. Mm-hmm, exactly. It's also very, very difficult to wrinkle, so it's a lot easier in that regards. Mm -hmm. But next, we have linen, which, as you probably know, is what we use for summer suits. So, this fabric is very, very breathable. So, if it's a warm day, it's still fairly comfortable to wear your full suit. Yeah, exactly. But... It's quite light, so it's not very warm in the winter. Mm hmm exactly. And contrary to wool, linen wrinkles very easily. Now, some people say this adds charm to the fabric, and it's what makes linen linen, but some people don't like the look, so it's definitely something to consider. Mm -hmm. Next, we have cotton, which cotton is the cheapest of the materials. It acts very similar to wool, but it is a bit cheaper, so if price is a concern, that is something to consider. Mm -hmm. So the benefits of cotton would definitely be that it has the easiest maintenance, so you can machine wash it in a pinch. Obviously, we don't recommend it, but it can be done. It also can be ironed. Again, we don't recommend it, but if you would like to save money on dry cleaning, it is an option for that. But the biggest downside to cotton would definitely be that it doesn't drape as naturally or as nicely as wool does. 
yeah, so wool is a lot easier to just put on and look nice, but with cotton, especially in the pants, if you don't have a strong crease, it can look a bit stiff, and so a lot of people say it looks cheap compared to wool or other material. And then the last option is silk, which is our most expensive option. Although we don't actually carry 100% silk material, it's actually very rare nowadays. We have a blend of 60% wool and 40% silk. We think it makes the nicest looking suit. Mm. Yeah, we find that unless a suit is made fantastically well, then if it's made out of 100% silk, it can look a bit tacky. Mm -hmm. But with the blend, it looks very elegant, and yet you get all the luxurious softness from the silk. Yeah, we can try one on later if you want, but it is very magical to put on a silk-lined suit and feel the softness of the material. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. But, that's all for our options for now. Obviously, there are other things to consider, such as color and things like that, but we'll go over that at the end of our meeting. So, for now, we are going to start with your measuring. So, is it okay if I come a little bit closer. Yeah, perfect. So, I'm just going to be getting a few measurements here. you let your arms hang like as loose as possible? Just to give them a little shake. Yeah, just relax. Okay. I'm just gonna check the other side to make sure that it's even. Yeah, you can just relax. No worries. Okay. And across here. Just gonna get a couple measurements. feel quite tight there, or is that... Yeah, good. Perfect. And down here. Okay. Let me just take a couple notes here. Okay, so 
And what size of shirt and pants do you normally wear? Okay. And do you prefer kind of a very tight cut or something that's a little bit looser, would you say? Mm-hmm. Perfect. from your back. Yeah, be right back. Okay. Okay, just across here. too tight or is that fine? Okay, I'm just gonna get your pants measurements while I'm back here. So if you could just stand up as straight as you could. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Here's a 
other side. Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. Good. I think that is all of your measurements. Okay. Let me just take a couple more notes. doesn't matter at all, we're just looking for size at the moment. This one should be your size, so let's just get that onto you there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, do you need a little? Yeah, I'll help you with the buttons there. Okay, how does that feel? Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to go over and kind of squeeze a little bit to see where it's a little bit baggy and where it's a little bit tight, okay? Okay, that feels pretty, pretty on point. I think it's a bit tight there. Yeah, and a little bit loose there, but that's something we can alter, no worries. Yeah, we'll have you looking very dapper. No doubt about that. Okay, and what about in the front here? Does that feel a little bit loose for you? Yeah, no problem. We can definitely alter the size for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go take a couple more measurements from your back. Yeah, be right back. Okay, this feels like it should be good here.
and then just excuse my hands here. Yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna grab your waist for a second. Okay, yeah, perfect. Just like before, this is just a trial jacket, just to see how it lays on you, how it fits. So don't worry about the color and the pattern, they can be changed to whatever you like. This is just simply for your measurements, okay? Perfect. Now. I believe this should be our size. So, let me just get that. Yeah. Okay. How does that feel? Yeah, a little bit of movability, not too loose, not too tight. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll make some small adjustments, but as long as it fits well in general, we've got ourselves a good base to work off of. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, can I have you do up the buttons? Yeah, everything still feels good. Yeah, this is sitting well. Yeah, this is going to be perfect for your measurements. So, let's get back in there with the measuring tape. I'm just going to get a little bit close again. Just getting your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shoulder pad is sitting very nicely. Mm-hmm. And what about... Okay. And the shoulder. And oh, yeah. Can I 
get you to raise your arms again for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's just get a couple more measurements here. Let's do your wrist. Yeah. Okay, that's a good length there. Perfect. And over here. Same thing. Just do your wrist a little bit further. Okay. Um. Do you think it's going to be? A bit too tight around your chest there. No, you think it's good? Okay, let me just measure behind you. Pardon my hands there. That. Yeah, good. Over and let's get some measurements across your chest here. Mm -hmm. And here a bit lower. Yeah. Okay. Well, can I get you to raise your arms over your head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's sitting well on your wrists. You can put them down now. Yeah, I, I always hate it the most when people have a nice looking suit when their arms are at their side, but then they start dancing, and then their suit comes down to there. I think it looks quite silly, but I would never let that happen to you, so don't worry. Okay, I think I'll just go around and get a few measurements from the back. For sure. Okay, let's get a few measurements just across here. Thank 
excuse my hands for a second. Perfect. Okay. And last thing, how are you with the length of the jacket? Because I think it's falling at a pretty good location, but some people like a little bit shorter, some people like a little bit longer. That's something you can play with a little bit for the style. And what about you? Are you happy with how it's sitting? Yeah? Perfect. Then let me get some last measurements here. Okay. And this side. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, that is almost everything. But before we finish, I thought I would just let you put on a tie just to let you feel complete with the whole ensemble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, again, you can choose a new color after you've chosen the rest of your ensemble. But just to try on now, do you think you would like the navy? Or do you think you would like the black? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both 100% silk. They're very soft. The black? Perfect. Double Windsor, what do you normally have for your tie? Yeah? Yeah, I really like Double Windsor. I think it looks very elegant. jacket, pants, and shirt for you, if you'd like, as well as any accessories you would like to get. Mm -hmm. Basically, what I'll do after this meeting is I'll send you an email with all of our options, basically all the colors, again, all the styles and options you can choose, and then once you've chosen what you'd like for your suit, then we will have our tailors here make you your completely one-of-a-kind custom suit 
with all your measurements and all your choices. And then once we've done that, we'll have you in again for just a final fitting, just to make sure everything is perfect. How does that sound? Yeah? Good? Well, thank you so much for coming in today. We really appreciate having you here, and I'll see you very, very soon. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye.